Radio.io. This is News 3 at 6. Good evening, I'm Mark Kiesling. And I'm Julie Williams, and we're learning more tonight about a death that shook the Heron community. Chance Carnes, a former quarterback for the Tigers, died Saturday in a car crash. Carnes was heading to a wedding reception with his girlfriend and the bride and groom when their vehicle was struck by another car. Funeral services are set for this weekend and the public is invited. Tonight, News 3's Danny Valle joins us live from Heron High School's football field. That's where those ceremonies will be held. Danny, you spoke with the family. They're still dealing with a tremendous loss. Can you describe some of what they're feeling tonight? Well, Julie, Mark, so many emotions to describe how they're feeling. Grief, chief among them, but also anger, anger that they felt today after walking out of the funeral home to finalize Chance's services. But they put that aside, and they took a moment to remember their son Chance as a lively person, but also that football player we all knew, his real passion was horses. A handsome young man with beautiful blue eyes and his charisma and just, um, he was an old soul. An old soul who loved the saddle since he could walk. Went to shows all over the Midwest, Oklahoma to Texas, um, and just enjoyed that, that close cowboy family that he was in. He wouldn't wear tennis shoes. It was nonstop shorts and cowboy boots. That's all he wanted to do was to, to grow up and be a cowboy. We kind of thought it was a phase that he would grow out of, but he just never did. An odd choice, considering Chance comes from a football family. Dad Jason was quarterback for DeCoin's 1992 state championship team. After marrying his wife Brandy, winning state was his second biggest highlight. Well, that's until he got the rare chance to coach his son Chance from 2017 to 2019. He loved every second. When I knew there were some times where he'd probably rather be on a horse than be out here at 9 degrees with pads and stuff on. I think he'd rather be on a horse sweating. We're telling you what play yeah. to call what, what play to call he, he was <laughs> but he was a coach's kid he knew out there he, he would yell so he knew what what to call and uh, knew how to read the defense but chance followed his grandfather's love of horses he trained them for horse sorting and cutting competitions he took home some awards even a dirt bike it was his passion his life One, two, three. Yeah! they celebrated his 20th birthday last thursday he was the happiest he'd ever been. That's why his death hurts. His whole life was ahead of him. I mean, he just would go, go, go. And I'd hear, oh, he has plans to go to the rodeo this weekend. And he's going here. I mean, he didn't stay home. He didn't lay around. He didn't play video games. He, he's in the biggest, biggest, best ranch you can be in right now. And we want to thank the Carnes family for allowing us the privilege to tell Chance's story. But this week, it's not going to get easier for the family. They have their daughter's graduation to attend Saturday and then the funeral on Sunday. A lot of emotions there. And that funeral is happening here at the Harrison Sports Complex right behind me at the football field Sunday at 1. Everyone is invited to attend. And I asked Jason why he picked this spot. And he says it's not just where he coached his son. It's also a place where his son grew up. He grew up loving the outdoors, and he felt that having the services here at the field would be a fitting tribute in Chance's memory. Reporting live in Heron, Danny Valle, News 3.